Polyethylene is a synthetic polymer formed from addition polymerization, and it's one of those common plastics in our everyday lives. We see these at our, as what are called HDPE, that's high-density polyethylene, and LDPE, that's low-density polyethylene. High-density polyethylene is that rigid but flexible plastic that I showed you for a um, bottle, a uh, plastic bottle. Low-density polyethylene, LDPE, was what I showed you for that very flexible plastic wrap. Despite their physical and functional differences, HDPE and LDPE have the same starting point, which is that they're both polyethylene. They're both those monomers that carbon with a double bond and four hydrogens. And how can you have two plastics that are pretty different as far as their flexibility as well as their function? Well, that has to do with varying these at the molecular level, um, but not at the monomer level. So the variation in polyethylene can be straight versus branched. And this is basically the monomers can be bonded one at a time, one at a time to form a straight chain polymer. Or depending on the catalyst, you can allow for branching. So this is the same polyethylene monomer, but instead of being just the straight chain, you can have branches off the main chain, which are still gonna be monomers, but just not one long straight chain. So the end result is a, the big difference leading to HDPE, high density polyethylene, where this straight chain can be these straight uh, polymers just stacked up. And when you can stack all this up, this leads to a material that's relatively dense, relatively rigid, and yet still flexible. And um, this compares to low density polyethylene due to the branching, these um, chains can't actually pack together because of those branches that kind of get in the way. So this ends up being more flexible, not as rigid and not as strong, but having a different function as a result. Other variations that can be done, it can be increasing the length of these chains. You can make a longer straight chain. That would be more atoms and having more mass and basically more, uh, more density and a higher density would lead to a stronger plastic. So there's something called ultra high density polyethylene, and that's generally used for like furniture. Um, you can also align these chains, these polymer chains, so that they're more ordered and having a more ordered structure would lead to a more dense structure. And that would also be another way to get a stronger version of high density polyethylene also used in furniture. You can also increase the amount of branching, and that would lead to more disorder or less uh, packing, less a lower density polyethylene, and that would be an even an weaker uh, version of this plastic or more flexible on that end. So not all plastics are equal, but these two, LDPE and HDPE, have the same monomer starting point, but what's varied is the branching, the ordering, and the length of the polymer chains. So they this results in different physical characteristics and different functions. So let's see if you can figure out which ones are of these everyday plastic examples, which are low density polyethylene, and then which are high density polyethylene. So low density polyethylene, remember, is very flexible and High density polyethylene is flexible yet more rigid. So plastic wrap and plastic bags, including like Ziploc bags, um, these are not very strong, but they're very flexible and stretchable and tend to be transparent like this, like this bubble wrap. So um, this is something that is compared to stronger high density polyethylene, which is the same monomer, but these are more rigid they can be opaque they or transparent or semi-transparent as this is. And uh, these are, are generally used for household containers like shampoo or detergent or mustard or ketchup because you use this for liquids that are viscous or that don't flow well and being able to flex or squeeze the bottle will allow for di distributing that liquid. 
Um, so these are all, what they all have in common is these are all low cost plastics, whether it's LDPE or HDPE, and that's why they're so common and how they've managed to replace the natural polymers that we would have used like ceramic or wood or glass for these types of containers.